Cheers and welcome my friends to the saga of Balder Thorgrimson. I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest Reforged Edition. That's quite a long name. Now in the last episode we hunted down a fugitive murderer in um, Eoferham East. Um, he was resistant to come with us and uh, drew his weapon. So we um, killed him in an act of self-defense. Or at least that's how we're going to sell this. We might make... Uh, could make ourselves acquainted to this man. Has he a Sidrock the Young? Don't know you. You have quite a nice axe. I really dig the ornaments on it. My name is Walter Thorgrimson. I'm at your service, sir. I'm here as Sidrock the Young, a vessel of the Kingdom of Northumbria and the Lord of Ed Gefrin and Eoferham East. I see that you carry a nobleman's banner, but I do not recognize the device. No doubt you have come to these lands in search of worth and glory. If this is indeed the case, then I only ask that you show mercy to those poor souls caught in the path of war. Ah, uh, what are you? A wuss? That's not very warrior-like of you. Um... What, what... Yeah, I wanted to ask you... What the location of Halfdan Ragnarsson? Halfdan Ragnarsson is in the field and... Oh, I'm sorry, I misclicked. Again. Is in the field and he should be close to Ligualit Hum at the moment. Thank you, I must beg my leave. Where's Ligualit Hum? Over here. Alright then. Let's move over there. I suppose he's moving up to his... Um, to Edinburgh. Actually, with that in mind, we could go around these uh, mountains. Renegades, they are following me. You have you have quite some nerve. Why are you why are you attacking me? I can smell a fat purse a mile away. Methinks yours could do with some lightning, eh? I'll give you nothing but cold steel, you scum. Uh, we'll start the battle holding position and let them come to us. I mean, they have attacked us. Let's see what they can do. That's a hilly map. I think they will come from over there. I'm going to use the advantage of this hill. What are our troops? We have four spearmen. Spearmen, hear me. No, thank you. I know how this is played. Go over there. And um, bodyguard, bodyguards, you move over here, and I want you to form a shield wall. No, I said form a shield wall. Are you not listening to me? Form a shield wall. They're, they're ignoring me. I don't have enough authority, it seems. Oh, are they already in a shield wall? Let's see. Holding. Yeah, I think they're already in a shield wall. And the first blood. Join in the fray. Yes, and we killed one. Come and die. Die in the spears of my companions. I don't think the horn sound sounds as good as it did formerly. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, stop, stop it. Go on, go on. Ah. Yes. Not so clever now, are we? Attacking a man who's minding his own business? Yes, you're done for. Is there anyone left? Uh, let's charge. No, there's no one left. We won! Yes, our oh, men are cheering. Cheer on, my friends! Yeah, it's no great battle, but I'm still happy. Not, 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 we, have, we had no casualties. That's even better. We're going to take some of these guys as prisoner. 
They've earned it. Attacking, attacking innocent wanderers. That's not nice. We could, yeah, I'm going to hire some young warriors. Because why not? I don't want anything to do with brigands. And yeah, let's share the loot. I think we're a bit low on money now. So we take this loot and travel on. Another guy complaining. Sir, Kelvin is a terrible companion. He does not deserve the honor of being part of the glorious saga of our shield war, which shall be sung for generations to come and forevermore. You're right there, buddy. In our last battle, while I was singing about the many battles that your leadership, alongside my courage, oh really, allowed us to turn into victories, he spat on the ground and told me to keep my arrogant yapper shut. If this man does not understand the legendary nature of our feats, then he should not be allowed to share our future glory and fortune. That is indeed the case. Tell Calvin you have my support in this and he should hold his tongue. These enemies are routed. They are fleeing. Here's a guy who calls himself King Konungr. Oh, you. I thought um, your halfdan ruled this land. And another king, King Egbert. There are lots of kings in this faction. What's your deal? Kenning Egbert, do I know you? My name is Balder Thorgrimson, I'm at your service, sir. I'm Kenning Egbert, a vessel of the Kingdom of Northumbria and the Lord of Jorvik. So you're the Lord of York, are you? I see that you carry a nobleman's banner, but I do not recognize the device. Perhaps you are the bastard son of a puffed up cattle thief, or perhaps you stole it. Maybe now I'll take your banner, and your cattle, and your life. I won't take insults like that. Are you trying to provoke me? Well, I would have you know that I'm under no obligation to duel women, commoners, rebels or brigands. I could, however, order my men to seize you and horsewhip you. Would you like them to do that? I would like to see them try. Enough of your insolence! At him, lads! This guy is, an, is a giant ass. And um, <laughs> I picked the wrong fight, obviously. I, I knew it was, but uh, yeah, that's the thing that your um, mouth gets you into sometimes. We have 23 troops fit for battle against their 249. I think we'll, yeah, commander's options. I, I have not enough men. I have no way, basically, of doing anything against them. I'll start the battle holding positions. What can we do? I, I suppose we can't win this, but we can sell our own hides as dearly as possible. And that is what we're going to do. 250 men are just too much. Go on, up there, and make it quick, or we'll all die. Go on, men. I don't suspect we can win this. Um, didn't say anything about the difficulty at the beginning of the series, but we are playing on Impossible. The highest um, difficulty setting, and I he have even um, activated the um, insane setting. So enemies are doing double damage to our troops and to ourselves. Well, this will be a hard fight. Um, come, come up a bit more. Oh, we have left some guys down there. That's not good. Are you infantry? Yes, you are. So come up here. And you stand closer. I know Spearman can advance a bit. I can can get back a bit. <laughs> die. Go on, die. Yes. Oh, 
250 men are attacking us. This cannot be won. But we will do our best. We cannot win this, but we can die fighting. And earn some glory. Going well so far. The enemy is taking a lot of damage from our throwing weapons. I'm, I'm not sure we can can make any measurable dent in their in their line. Move, move, move a bit over here. Do not despair, man. I'll sound the horn of victory. Still going strong. None of our soldiers has died so far. Can send our infantry over here, so they are a bit more useful. And we're getting attacked by by foot soldiers. If we win or lose, this will be a battle worth of songs. Die. Ow. How dare he insult me? I guess he who holds the power has the power to insult anyone he pleases. And we have advanced a level. But I fear we shall die. Onwards then! We are down. Only unconscious, but it's... It's a shame, we lost. We've lost renown. Why have we lost renown? This was a battle worthy of, of song. But we've gained a lot of morale. Let's see our casualties. Our companions cannot cannot die, the same as us. But um, we have one, one killed or wounded. How many have we killed? 42 and we have 10 um, minor wounded from the enemy. So for every one of ours there are at least two of them that lie in the field. We've been taken prisoner. And we've paid a wage. Yeah, alright, that went badly, I guess. <laughs> well, what should I do? Have him insult me? I will not suffer any insult. After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chance and escape from your captors. So long, suckers. There will be a time for revenge. And you shall feel it. Killing Egbert. I will be able to give you the justice you deserve. They've taken anything from me that was valuable. Nope, they didn't. Let's see if I can go into Jorvik. Yes, people do not care that I attacked their, their liege lord. Let's go to the meat hall then. Although I suppose we lost our slaves. Yeah. We have no prisoners anymore. I think the enemy took them. And freed them maybe. Because that's a good idea. Free the highway robbers. Going to sell all this stuff. Sell it all. We have to make sure to top off our our food again. We have cheese, we have vegetables. We have some ball meat. We have some dried meat. I don't think we can buy anything new here. Oh we can buy some barley. 
think they took that from us. Yeah, right. That's enough. Um, yeah, we'll remove ourselves from all. There's no way we can really win against them. We are wounded and they have 200 men and we have only 17. But I think we've given him some kind of a lesson. I hope. How is our character? Have we suffered any wounds? No, we haven't. So that's okay. How is our renown? 86. So there's still quite some way to go to 150 renown when we will be able to hire people in the taverns and do all kinds of cool things. Who are you? Are you also a very friendly man who needs a whipping? Do I know you? My name is Bolder Thorgrimson. I made your service, sir. I am Conangur Baksek, a vassal of the Kingdom of Northumbria and the Lord of Middlesbrough. See that you carry a nobleman's banner, but I do not recognize the device. Perhaps you are the bastard son of a puffed up cattle thief, or perhaps you stole it. Again? Um. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if we are going to do that again. He is an asshole, and I will be sure to pay him back his insult. Yeah, fuck it. We're not going to take it. Are you trying to provoke me? Well, I would have you know that I'm under no obligation to do women, commoners, rebels or brigands. I could, however, order my men to seize you and horsewhip you. Would you like them to do that? I would like to see them try. Bring it. Bring it. Go on. We have 70 men against their 100. Let's see what they can do. If they're really that great and if you are really that great. We'll move to a defensive position. Move you over here. And you have to stand closer. We need you as close as possible to have a protective shield wall. The odds are 1 to 5. 17 men against 100. Go on, men. Give him hell. Die. Die. Yes, die. And give me your horse. Ah, hey, how's that? How's that? Now you lie in the dirt. Konungr. Not really that mighty, mighty a king. Down from your horse. And die. Kill this guy already. We have to do some some throwing. I will dismount, so not to give them too big of a target. Stand firm, man! Hold your ground! We're not taking insults from anyone. the friendly guy who attacks you from the side. Die already. Kill him. Kill him. Three against one. You think that's fair? We go down in a blaze of glory. Ow! Ow! 
die. Oh, and we're down. They have won. At least, if you view it objectively. But we managed to strike down their leader. He's in the dirt as well. And he will think twice before insulting me. Our party gains morale, but I've lost another 7 renown. My forces are crushed, but we killed 37 of them. So I managed to kill... yeah. 37% of his force. That's not bad. We were outnumbered by quite a bit. I think that's okay. We're, we're taking prisoner. They're taking some meat from me. Ah, the bard's poem about you seems to be spreading through the land. We gained three renown. We lost 14 recently. It seems we are a prisoner in this, um, in this castle now. After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chance and escape from your captors. Finally. Back to our own business. Um, I have to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't like it, please tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. I hope you join me next episode. Thank you and bye bye.